Okay, for those of you who've watched my NoFap videos, you may have heard me mention the Dantian and how NoFap strengthens the Dantian. Well, today I'd like to explain what the Dantian is and how I've come to this conclusion. Generally speaking, it's the main focal point in arts like yoga and qigong, and any other art form which emphasizes deep abdominal breathing. It's considered the seat of internal energy and the body center of gravity. That's why you see elderly people in parks across China doing standing post exercises, because they're storing energy in the Dantian. One of the most common of these would be the tree standing pose, which is a simple posture to encourage abdominal breathing. The qualities of having a strong Dantian would be things like vigor, energy, confidence, and a sense of balance and well-being. Sound familiar? So, description over. Having a background in yoga and martial arts, the parallels between having a strong Dantian and being on a good nofap streak are strikingly similar. Now, for the record, this is purely a hypothesis, but I believe the reason nofap works is because when you're not ejaculating every day, the subtle energy that's contained within semen will naturally build up and spill over into the Dantian. So, where Qi Gong would store energy in the Dantian by deep breathing, nofap stores it from the underside up. So with each passing day a man doesn't ejaculate, his qi or subtle energy naturally builds up in his dantian. However, when a man has multiple ejaculations per day, which is not uncommon for porn addicts, the energy that would have built up and strengthened his dantian is wasted. And with a weak dantian comes a feeling of loss, weakness and general low vitality. That's why it takes a good few days for a nofap streak to start giving you the positive effects because that subtle energy has to build back up and spill into the Dantian. I know it's crude, but that's the general principle. You also have the meridian system, which in the traditional Chinese medicinal system are like energetic channels much like veins. So where the Dantian would be like a central reservoir, the meridians would be like the rivers running to it. The whole basis of things like acupuncture and acupressure are based on treating the meridians. So, when you're on a nofap streak, not only does subtle energy build up in the Dantian, it also circulates throughout your meridian system. That's why I say it's good to keep active, because keeping active will better circulate subtle energy around your meridians. If you don't keep active, all that subtle energy will more likely stagnate around your sexual glands and increase the likelihood of either a relapse or a wet dream. To put it another way, Imagine putting a teaspoon of honey into a cup of tea. The honey representing internal energy and the tea representing the body. Leaving the tea alone would mean the honey would settle on the bottom, i.e. stagnate. But if you were to stir the tea, i.e. keep active, the honey would disperse evenly throughout. Which is a similar principle for keeping active so your energy doesn't stagnate. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because lots of critics have asked over the years, dude, where's the science to back this up? Prove to me this works. Well, for me, I don't believe such proof exists within the Western scientific framework, simply because it doesn't acknowledge a subtle energy body. So you can't simply cite some study as to why semen retention works. You need to look into the world of yoga, martial arts, and the Chinese concept of Nei Dan, which is internal alchemy. Better yet, just try it yourself. Go a week without ejaculating and you'll have your proof, whether it works or not. Personal direct experience using your own body as a lab will tell you more than any textbook. So yeah, as a long time martial artist, no fat for me basically feels like a natural strengthening of the Dantian by directing subtle energy upward as opposed to discharging it through ejaculation. And that's really where my belief on this stands. As always, nofap's not a cure-all, it won't solve all your problems, but it is a positive health practice to include with diet and exercise and the like for those looking to reach their potential. So yeah, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.